Hey there coworkers, it's Haas here and I have some special news for events coming to Salmon Run in the next two weeks as the rotation shifts have started to reveal what we can expect at the beginning of sizzle season in June and if you already looked at the rotation schedule in game you're probably wondering what the ink are those question mark rotations and weapons shown there. Well, the bad news is that nope, they are not going to be special wildcard rotations with constantly changing maps instead of weapons like how some people have been speculating, though that would have been absolutely wicked I think. But instead it looks like Nintendo wants us to celebrate the next season by also trying out the new Salmon Run stage coming with it as soon as possible, which means we are getting two consecutive Jam and Salmon junctions to try it out with both a Kohozuna and a Horboros as chosen Salmonid Kings. The first rotation starting on the 2nd of June will be the one with Horboros as King and the rotation is Splushomatic, Slosher, Splat Charger and the Mystery Weapon which is also pretty obvious by now that it is going to be one of the new weapons and based on their composition layout they usually give us and my experience I'm fairly sure the first rotation will give us the S-Blast 92 to try out our new blaster weapon. The double firing mode blaster is going to be quite technical, I can't wait to try it out myself and as soon as these weapons are available expect short quick guys to be released for them on launch day or the one after that. Following straight after we are getting another jam and salmon junction as I said, this time around with Kohozuna as the salmonid king with the weapons reflux 450, splattershot pro, squiffer and the mystery weapon here, well if we got the S-Blast before, it can only be the paintbrush. And if you look at the weapon composition once again, it's fairly clear which of the two weapons they want us to have here. If you're curious about what to expect with the paintbrush, I have recently released a video fully analyzing the weapon. It's looking absolutely great. Feel free to check out that video if interested. Now, if my personal prediction also weren't enough, by today, data miners have also confirmed the two weapons in this particular order, so we can be pretty sure about it, unless major, major changes are going to happen with the coming patch and the patch notes, which I don't really expect since it also never happened before. So overall, the week is going to be massive for Salmon Run. So far, we already have two rotations on the brand new map. Who knows what the rest of the week is going to be? Maybe we get another rotation with both weapons on them. But next weekend after that, we're also getting the next big run, which will happen on Undertow Spillway, a brand new map once again. Also something to very much look forward to. As always, I will also release guides especially for the night waves like Grillers and Glowflies for Undertow Spillway, so keep an eye out for those if you usually struggle with them, but I also have many many resources already that can help you with Salmon Run or prepare for Big Run to be able to get that top 5% if you want it. But that is it for some Salmon Run news for now, Sizzle season is already looking great for us, lots of events to participate in and we're also getting a lot more in the form of wildcard rotations and a golden rotation once again sooner or later. For now, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.